Good afternoon, soccer fans. We want to welcome you to Anderson Field at Bobcat Stadium. On behalf of Grandview Heights Athletic Department, we'd like to welcome you to this afternoon's match between the Whitehall Lady Rams and the Grandview Heights the Lady Bobcats. Whitehall and Grandview Hello, how are you? Heights High schools are members of the Ohio High School and they abide by high standards of conduct, competition, and relations with member schools. The athletes in this game are friendly rivals and we remind you that this is a game between young athletes and good sportsmanship is expected by participants and spectators. Please cheer for your team, not against anyone. Now you can't have a match without the guys in yellow down there. We'll have two on the side and one in the center. On the side will be John Miller and Felix Hernandez. In the center will be Zachary Abramowitz. All right, as I gather rosters, let's get the uh, non-starters and starters for today. Whitehall. We have number nine, Karina Garcia. Number 19, Jennifer Martinez. Number 25, Cyan Pettifor. Sign, sign up. for Whitehall. All right, number 16, Autumn Colson. Number three, Adeline Duarte. Number seven, Cindy Escuela Sandoval. Number four, Romina Eminez. Okay, ladies. Number 14, Jenny Matue. Number 15, Angie Mendoza. Number five, Elizabeth Mendoza. Number eight, Ramirez Romero. Number 17, Cynthia Rivas Ramirez. Number 10, Melissa Rivas Ramirez. And 33's in goal, I am Sira Wooden. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're about a minute or two away from your start today of this right, match between your Grandview Bobcats and the Whitehall Rams. For the ladies in blue, let's bring it. 
as we listen to Jim Lloyd introduce your Bobcats. Number two, Gracie Ferris. Number three, Haley Cook. Number four, Chloe Ferris. Number eight, Keelan Swisher. Number 10, Katie Toman. Number 11, Grace Buscemi. Number 13, Jordan Van Horn. Number 14, Mila Getcha. Number 16, Mia Card. Number 18, Kara Hill. 21, Zoe Nielsen. 24, Claire Kalla. 36, Sophia Zabel Ramsey. And 39, Lexi Smith. Now the starters for this afternoon. We've got number five, Elise Gerringer. Number seven, Harriet Christos. Number nine, Macy Two. And number 12, Maggie Hurley. Number 15, Ellie Smith. Number 17, Natalie Smith. Number 19, Lucia Mastriani. Number 20, Melina Pomerantz. 22, Tatum Lusher. 23, Hannah Longbreak. And zero, Vivian Shute. We've got everyone. Bobcats is coached by Brianna Dominic. Ladies and gentlemen, as we begin this afternoon, please rise, remove your covers, help us honor America by singing our national anthem. Good afternoon, Bobcat Cat fans. Welcome to Bobcat Stadium, Anderson, the Anderson Field pitch. Our starting lineup for today for your Grandview Bobcats. Number 23, Hannah Longbreak. Number 22, Tatum Lusher. Number 20, Milena Pomerantz. Number 19, Lucia Mastriani. Number 17, Natalie Smith. Number 15, Ellie Smith. Number 12, Maggie Hurley. Number 9, Macy Two. Number 7, Elliot Christos. And number eight, 5, Elsie Granger. And in goal today will be number 0, Vivian Shute. We'll give it a minute or two for the teams to get out on the pitch.
All right, a little fun facts here. Uh, as we get ready to start the game, we have one common opponent. That's Wellington. Grandview won that one 8-0, whereas Whitehall lost 0-8 to Wellington. Grandview has quite a, a uh, has a, quite an accomplishment. We've got 37 goals for us, and we've only allowed four goals, wherein Whitehall only has six goals, but they've allowed 43. Right now they're on a four-game losing streak, and Grandview's on a three-game winning streak. So Whitehall will possess the ball to start out the match. Grandview takes control from Whitehall, but goes off sides. So Whitehall will get a free kick. Grandview in front of the goal, unattended, and that's Natalie Smith for Grandview's first goal at the 39.02 mark. And Grandview goal, number 17, Natalie Smith. So again... Whitehall will take possession here. <laughs> Ellie Smith sends it forward. Milena Pomerantz fighting for it in the box right now with uh, Whitehall defender. Passes it over to Longbreak. Longbreak takes a shot. Into the box. No one there to greet it. Whitehall kicks it out. And Pomerant sends it out the back of the goal line. So Whitehall with another free kick. Grandview controls it. Long breaks, passes it over to the middle to Pomerantz, who sends it back to Long Break, who's heading down the pitch, back by the near goal line. She's fighting through defender, sends it over to number 12, Maggie Hurley, just over the crossbar. I believe the goalie did get her hands on that, so it will be a corner corner kick from the far far corner, the northeast corner of the pitch. Smith kicks it in into the box. Grandview takes control. Granger back over to Smith. Smith sends it in. And it goes out off of... Oh, looks like that was an offsides. So Whitehall will take possession.
Whitehall has not been too successful at controlling the ball. It's been all Grandview as Pomerantz moves into the box, fighting a defender from Whitehall, sending it over to Ellie Smith, who takes another shot on goal. The goalkeeper just lets it bounce off her legs, keeping it in play. Harriet Christos picks it up, sends it over to Long Break. Long Break fights through a couple defenders. Picked up by Pomerantz, takes a shot. It goes wide right. It will be Whitehall ball. All right. Grandview takes another shot on goal, and Sierra Wooden puts a hand on it, stops it. You know, we're at a 80 degrees here. It's not too humid. Good afternoon for soccer. Both a little fight for possession, but it's picked up by Granger who sends it over to number 19, Lucia Mastriani. Right now, Whitehall and Grandview just playing a game of pass, it seems. No one team taking complete control at this point on this possession. And the ball will roll out. It'll be a grand view throw in. Lucia Mastriani has the honors. She tosses it into Macy, too, who's bringing it up the pitch. Loses control, but they're challenged by Ma Milena Pomerantz. Grandview pressing back down into the box. And the right eye deer there, uh, Macy, too, sends it forward to Ellie Smith, but she was a little offside. So Grandview will turn the ball over to Whitehall. At the 33-21 mark, Grandview 1, Whitehall nil. And Harry Christos tries to send it down pitch towards Ellie Smith. Offsides and Whitehall again will take possession. Going the field going uh, south to north. Grandview is defending the south goal at your right side and Whitehall on your left side, the north side of the pitch. Grandview again pressing, keeping it down in on the, oh, shot on goal, goes wide left. That was by Lucia Mastriani. Jennifer Martinez and number 23, Nari Piada. 
Melina Pomerantz takes a shot on goal. It bounces off the crossbar. All right. Long break takes control of that kick in by Whitehall. Pomerantz presses down, gives to Ellie or Natalie Smith, who takes a shot on goal. Just misses a little to the left off the, the post. And Whitehall will again kick out of the box. Whitehall is having a hard time getting true possession. Grandview on these kicks uh, gains it pretty quick. As we look, uh, Maggie Hurley, he sends it over to Hannah Long break, but unfortunately it goes out before she can gain control. And Whitehall, again, will get a kick to kick it in from the box. Um, it really hasn't left the Whitehall third of the field. Our defenders have been at the center line most of this game or forward of that. Smith, the long break. Long break takes a shot, passes it to Pomerantz, and Wooden deflects it for Whitehall, but Pomerantz takes another shot and puts it in. At the 29-15 mark, Grandview scores another goal. It's now 2-0 Grandview. That shot was by... Malena Pomerantz. Grandview goal. Number 20, Malena Pomerantz. All right. Ellie Smith comes out. Gracie Ferris subs in for her. Long break, takes a shot on goal, just off the left post. We also have Gracie Bushimi who's gone in. Now you've got number eight, Keelan Swisher, and number three, Haley Cook coming in. Coming off is long break and Mastriani. Looks like Coach is already going to give her, uh, her some of her varsity players some breathing time. As I said, Whitehall really hasn't pressed much past the center line. Our defenders spending most of the time midfield. Kick on goal by number two, Gracie Ferris, though it's picked up by Wooden, the keeper for Whitehall. Wooden sends it, but not before Natalie Smith can pick it up, sending it over to number eight, Keelan Swisher. Swisher's t attacking the box. Sends it in. Gracie Bushimi. Nope. Macy 2 with the goal at 27-44 in the match. Now sending Grandview, the Grandview Bobcats up 3-0 over the Whitehall Rams. So, again, here, oh, subs coming in. You've got number one. Oh, no, they don't send them in. Grandview controls, sends it down into the box. Wooden comes out to pick it up for Whitehall. 
She kicks it back down the pitch. Haley Cook works to control, boots it off of a Whitehall defender, and it's out, and Haley Cook will throw in. And this time we got Lucy James, number 24, Claire Califf, and number 39, Lexi Smith coming in. Coming off is Maggie Hurley, Macy Two, and Natalie Smith. Gracie Bushimi kicks it across to Claire Califf, who puts it in for Grandview goal. Goal number four at the 26-48 mark of this match. Grandview four, Whitehall nil. Up uh, there is a Whitehall player down, so the clock will stop as the Grandview trainer goes out to assist, as does the Whitehall coach. So at this point, Grandview easily controlling this match. As I've said a couple times, Whitehall has not truly advanced much beyond the uh, center line. Our defenders have been up and over on the Whitehall side of past the center line. Um, a lot of freshmen in the game right now. Uh, today, today, I think that the Bobcats uh, might put a little revenge on Whitehall for that uh, football loss last night. Our Bobcats had for 49 to 14 when we played Whitehall. So, the team's uh, player from Whitehall is up, getting off on her own. Let's hear it for her. And now the teams get set to regroup. Whitehall will have start with the possession. Grandview gets in position. Whitehall's doing the same. All right, Whitehall puts it in play. Grandview attacks. Bushimi working the Grandview forward, gets past her, but Haley, kick, Haley Cook picks it up, forwards it to Gracie Ferris, who sends it up to Lexi Smith, who tries to advance, but it's picked off by a Whitehall defender. Smith really pinning in that uh, Whitehall player. They're not getting, they're really not being able to get it back to center, center field. Smith steals it again. That's Lexi Smith. Gracie Ferris kicks. And, oh, it's just short, but number eight, Keelan Swisher comes over. Boots it in. It's off the post. She takes a shot on goal, and Wooden picks it up for Whitehall. Right now, there's only three original starters in. Harriet Christos, our goalkeeper, Vivian Shoot, and Tatum Lusher. So a lot of underclassmen getting a chance here to play. Smith over to Haley Cook, who sends it back to Lexi Smith. Smith looking for someone. She sends it to Claire Califf. Califf out to Gracie Ferris. Pass Gracie, picked up by Haley Cook. Smith attacks the box, tries to take a shot, sends it over to Kit, sends it to Bushimi. Bushimi sends it out to Swisher, who's just a little left of the goal.
Did you say we had like 500? All right, Whitehall. Whitehall trying to still trying to get it past the center line. Claire Califf over to Swisher. Swisher taking it up towards the box. She's coming in on, on the side of the goal box. Sends it in to Lexi Smith. Lexi loses control, but Gracie Bushimi is there to pick it up. Sends it back to number seven, Harry Christos, who sends it up to Swisher. Over to Claire Califf. Gracie Ferris picks it up, sends it in the middle of the box, but it's picked off by a Whitehall defender who sends it out of bounds. And we'll have Harriet Christos throwing it in. She sends it in to Swisher. Swisher cross to Califf, who advances it to Gracie Ferris, who advances it, advances it to Gracie Bushimi. Lexi Smith takes a shot on goal, just misses to the right. So right now, Grandview has about six shots on goal and eight wide of the goal, whereas there are none for Whitehall. So as we said earlier, Grandview dominating this game. Coach has pulled out most of her starters here at the 22 mark in the match. There's only three left in, that being Shoot, Lusher, and Christos. Grandview or Whitehall kicks it in again, taken by Grandview. Claire Califf, sent, Califf sends it up to Gracie Ferris, but it just misses her and goes out the back goal line. Lady Rams, they send in number five, Elizabeth Mendoza. The kick in once again by Whitehall is controlled by Grandview. Gracie Ferris with the goal. So at the 21-44 mark, Gracie Ferris adds the fifth goal for Grandview. Grandview goal, number two, Gracie Ferris. Grandview once again controls it, is controlling it down on the Whitehall third. Claire Califf sends it over to, or it's sent over to Claire Califf. I think that was Claire. 24, Claire Califf with the Grandview goal. I believe that's her second now. And at the 21-11 mark, Grandview finds themselves up 6-0. Whitehall just not being able to match the intensity here uh, of Grandview. Coach looks like, though, she's getting ready to send back in a number of her starters.
Whitehall on the toss. Oop, oop. A number of – coach sends back in a number of the starters, both Smith sisters, Mastriani, Hurley, Pomerantz, and Macy, too, and Mastriani. So those – some of those under underclassmen – and freshmen will come off the field. Fresh legs out there for Grandview. Now, Whitehall is on the th Grandview third of the pitch, but the ball is controlled by Macy, too, bringing it up the pitch. Sends it down to Ellie Smith, who's in a foot race, challenges the Oh, their keeper does stop Ellie's shot. So Wooden successfully stops Ellie Smith's attempt on goal. Wooden to kick it out of the box. Shallow kick. Picked up by long break. Over to Christos. Back to long break. Long break's looking to attack. Oop, and we're offsides. So a reset button will be hit, and Whitehall will send it down the pitch. Our coaching staff looks a little relaxed here, still barking out some orders. Whitehall sends it, and there's a battle for possession. Harriet Christos fighting on the near touch line. Long break gets into the uh, into the battle, and there's a whistle from the ref, and it goes against Grandview. It'll be a free kick for Whitehall. Whitehall sends it. Down the pitch. Both teams fighting for control. And Macy, too, picks the pockets of that, of number nine, Karina Garcia. It's sent up to long break. Long break is a race into the box. She takes shot on goal, and it is good. 23, Hannah Long break at the 1751 mark adds another goal to Grandview score. It's now 7-0 Grandview. So the teams reset. Grandview goes number 23, Hannah Longbreak. Whitehall starts it up. And Grandview comes in, intercepts. Ellie Smith sends it back to Hurley, to Christos. Christos up to Ellie Smith, who sends it over to Macy, too. Over to Long Break. Long Break attack, sends it to the middle of the box. Macy, too,'s battling, and she loses control. It goes out of the back goal line. It'll be a, the white, Whitehall ball. shoving the back uh, against Elsie Granger. So that's going against Whitehall. We'll have a free kick here. It looks like Macy 2 is going to take that kick. Two sends it down pitch. Picked up by Natalie Smith. She's attacking the goal. Takes shot on the goal, and it's in. Natalie Smith adds the eighth goal at the 16-22 mark. Grandview now up 8-0 over Whitehall. Uh, 
All right. Grandview getting ready to send in a couple substitutions. Mia Card and Kira Hill coming in for the Bobcats. Coming off is Ellie Smith and Natalie Smith. Uh, twins head off the field, having both added some goals today, giving them a little respite. Game starts back up. And Macy, too, gets in front of that, chests it. Atta attacking, sends it up to Mia Card. Mia Card in good position, takes the shot. Oh, just, oh, just bounces off the leg of Wooden, the goalkeeper for Whitehall, and falls to the right of the goal. So that will be a grand view corner kick. And coming in now is number 14, Mila Getcha. Coming in, take, and she is uh, in for Macy, too. For the Lady Bobcats, number 14, Mila Getcha. For the Lady Rams, they send in number three, Adeline Duhart Duarte. And number seven, Cindy Wooden sends it down the pitch. Grandview and Whitehall battling for possession. Maggie Hurley, he finally rests control. Nope. Still a battle going on for possession here at the center line. Grandview does get it. Sends it wide to number 18, Kara Hill. Kara looks like she's going to attack the box. She does. Sends it in the middle to Mia Card, who just goes left of the goal. Coming in now is number 13, Jordan Van Horn. And coming off for the Bobcats is number five, Elsie Granger. So with 14 left here in the first half, Grandview up 8-0. Easily controlling this match. Whitehall having no shots on goal. Grandview again controls the kick in from uh, Whitehall. Ball sent over to Mia Carr to take another shot, but Wooden beats her to it. So a save by the Whitehall keeper, Sierra Wooden. Wooden sends it down, picked up by long break. Hurley Heath battling for it at the center line. Harriet Christos adds into that battle. Lucia Mastriani picks it up, sends it over to Pomerantz. Pomerantz looking for her. Oh, Pomerantz takes a shot on goal, goes to the left of the post. For the Lady Podcast, they send in number one, Lucy James. So Lucy James coming into the game for the Bobcats. Out comes Tatum Lusher. And the kick by Whitehall actually goes out. Tossed in by Grandview. Grandview's got it on the far side of the pitch. Grandview advancing again, but it goes out off of Mia Card. So it'll be a toss in for Whitehall.
All right. Coming back into the game for Grandview is Haley Cook, Gracie Bushimi, and number 24, Claire Califf. Coach making sure fresh legs and are out there. Mastriani attacking the goal. Looks to take the shot. Taps it in. Grandview now nine goals at the 11-13 mark of the first half. Coming off is Hurley. Long break. And and Mastriani for the Bobcats. So Grandview's rotated out almost all of their starters. The only one left is Vivian Shute in the goal and Harriet Christos back on as a defender. So Grandview has some really fresh legs out there. Balls, Grandview advances up to Mia Card. She's attacking the goal. Just the wooden comes out just in time to nab it away from Card. Mia's had three great attacks on goal. But Wooden has done a good job with those saves. Whitehall still looking to get across the center line for the second time in this match. Grandview controls it off the kick in by Whitehall. Comes over, Jordan Van Horn sends it into the middle to Gracie Bushimi who sends it back to Lucy James. Lucy James sends it back to Vivian Shute who's gonna hit the reset button for Grandview. She passes it up to Gracie Bushimi as they set up their attack. So Grandview making a lot of passes right now. Whitehall sends it back to Wooden. He'll hit the reset button for Whitehall. Vivian Shute barking orders down the pitch to her team. And, oh, Milena Pomerantz is still in the game. She saves that from going out, out off of Grandview. Sends it across to the middle. Back out to Gracie Bushimi over to Lucy James. They're resetting. James fighting off a defender. Sends it back to Harriet Christos. And the ball heads back to shoot. So she'll hit the reset button. Caliph to Bushimi. Bushimi to Lucy James or Cook to back to Christos to Cook to Lucy James. Lucy James sends it. Grandview's not offsides. 13. Jordan Van Horn takes a shot on goal. It's deflected off the goalkeeper, picked up by Milena Pomerantz. Grandview resets in the box, getting ready to reattack. Pomerant sends it out to Bushimi. Oh, her pocket is picked. But she regains control and sending it over to Lucy James. Grandview now resets, sending it back to Harriet, Harriet Christos, who sends it across to Kara Hill. Hill working with Caliph to set up the attack here for Grandview. Bushimi over to the near side here to Pomerantz, who sends it back to Lucy James. Here, Christos with some great footwork gets past two defenders. So 
So Grandview basically working on their passing skills at this point. It's turned into a game of keep away against Whitehall, and Grandview's heavily dominating that. Bushimi's bringing it across, sends it up to Van Horn. Van Horn is just off sides. All right, we got 627 coming in. Number two, Gracie Ferris, and number 39, um, Lexi Smith, coming off as Pomerantz, and it looked like Jordan Van Horn. Grandview again controlling the ball. Lucy James has it on the near touch line. She sends it into the middle to Gracie Ferris, who passes back to James. Again, Grandview working on their passing skills at this point. I'm sure Coach Bree told him to make sure uh, instead of the automatic attacks, they get at least eight or nine passes in. James to Christos, but that's deflected, and there's a little battle for possession here on the Grandview third of the pitch. James gains control, sends it up to Gracie Bushimi. Bushimi sends it forward to number eight, Keelan Swisher, and she's offsides. So at the 4.58 mark here in the first half, Grandview with a commanding lead, Nine to nil over the Whitehall Rams. Whitehall preparing to bring it forward. The kick sends it over into the Grandview side, but it's a header catch by Harriet Christos. Allows Grandview to control it. Lexi Smith has it in at the center line. Sends it over to the far side to, to Getcha. Getcha working that far touch line. Sends it back to Harriet Christos, who sends it back to shoot. She's going to hit the reset button. Shoot. Sending it up to Swisher. Swisher forwards it up to... Bushimi, who's on the attack, but offsides. All right, we got more folks coming in for Grandview. Lusher's coming back in. Ellie Smith here. Momentarily. Oh, Swisser sends it. Gracie Ferris racing. Gains control, sends it to Bushimi. Bushimi looks to take a shot on goal. She does. And it just... Slips in. That was a shot on goal and made by Gracie Bushimi. So that now at the 252 mark. Grandview up 10-0 over Whitehall. Grandview goal, number 11, Gracie Bushimi. In for the Lady Rams off that goal, they send in number eight. Jamie Ramirez and number 19. Jennifer Martinez. Number 17, Cynthia 
Rivera Ramirez sends it back to Wooden, who sends it back to Ramirez. Ramirez gets around Bushimi. Haley Cook, Cook picks it up for Grandview, sending it back to Christos, who sends it over to Lexi Smith. Grandview prepares to set up their attack here. It's sent forward to Gracie Bushimi. Sends it back to Lexi Smith. They halt that attack. We'll regroup here at the center third, mid-third of the field. Bushimi back to number five, Elsie Granger, who will end up sending it back to Vivian Shoot. Shoot resets, sends it to Lexi Smith. And that'll be out on Grandview. We'll give Whitehall a toss in on the Grandview third of the pitch. Number 25, China Pettiford throwing it in for the Rams. Grandview again takes control. Lexi Smith slowing it down. There's 48 seconds left. I'd imagine we don't see this ball go across the center line for Grandview as Lusher is passing it back to Harriet Christos. Grandview just tossing it about here. Oh, I was wrong. Van, it's sent over to number eight, Keelan Swisher, who's attacking. Takes the shot. Nope. She backs off. Sending it to Gracie Bushimi. Grandview doing the right thing. They clearly had a shot on goal there. They back out of the box. Send it back to our side of the field. Good sportsmanship. As we count down here the, to the end of the first half. So at the end of the first half. Your Grandview Bobcats up 10-0 over the Whitehall Rams. A very, very uneven game match so far. Grandview has a commanding lead. A lot of feet on the ball today. Um, it would be interesting to see who Coach comes out with as starters in the second half. And the second half will be a running clock. Um so we're going to take a break. We'll see you back here in 10 minutes. This is the last day uh, for the Boosters Ox Rose, which is down at the uh, uh, Oxley Field or at the end of First Avenue, right across from, uh, I still call it Robert Lewis Stevenson Elementary, but down at the bottom of the hill. There's uh, plenty to eat and drink, uh, so have fun, and it helps out the, uh, the uh, sports and the school program you have. I don't have a score of the uh, Buckeyes, but they were up handily at halftime. So I'm assuming that was a good one. It might be over by now.
second half. Got about a minute left before the second half of this match. Uh, we're going to have the Rollies of the Grand Union. I think it's going to be Ellie Smith. She's got a go shirt on, but we'll find out. So get ready for the second half of this match, and we'll keep the clock running. Alright, well let's get ready for the second half of this match. Teams will switch ends and go the uh, other direction.
All right, folks, we're coming back here to the seven, second half of the match. It's going to be a shortened period of five minutes. Um, coaches worked out that deal with uh, Grandview with their commanding lead of 10-0. And then after the five minutes, it will turn into an inter-squad scrimmage. We have five minutes. So, the Lady Bobcats' next game will be Wednesday, September 14th. They will be on the road the next two games. On the 14th, they'll be heading to Zanesville to play Bishop Rosecrans. And then on Monday, September 19th, it will be away at Fairbanks. So, our next televised game for the Lady Bobcats will be Wednesday, September 21st. It'll be against... The Columbus School for Girls at All right, ladies and gentlemen, Grandview lining up. As we said, this is going to be a shortened half of five minutes, and then it's going to become an inter-squad scrimmage uh, where the t we won't be televising that. It'll just be uh, two teams helping each other work on their skills. So as we've said throughout this match, Grandview 
way, it's just a little too much uh, momentum, speed, and strength over these Rams. So Mia Card getting ready to put the ball in play. Wooden for the keeper for Whitehall heading into the box. Ref is getting ready to give the all good signal. And Mia Card puts it in play. Mia Cards bringing it down, sets it up in the box, but it goes out the goal line. It'll be Whitehall ball. Grandview called for the offsides there on that attack. Mia Card bringing it into the box, takes a shot on goal. It's stopped by Wooden for Whitehall. Macy, two attacking, looks to take the shot. It's stopped by Wooden for the Rams. And the clock on the shortened half is counting down. We're just at the one minute mark. I wouldn't announce it. <laughs> Hey, 
And as we close out this second half, uh, congratulations to the Lady Bobcats, who now move to 5-0-2 overall, 2-0-1 in the Mid-State League. And as I said, our next two games are going to be away. We'll be back on the air on Wednesday, September 21st at 7.15 as your Lady Bobcats take on the Columbus School for Girls. So again, we want to congratulate the Lady Bobcats varsity soccer team for their win today over the Rams of Wright Hall. The final score ended up being Grandview 11 and the Rams nil. This is John Ione signing off for the Grandview Sports Broadcasting Network, and we'll see you in two weeks. For us up in the booth, that's it. I think the uh, lady podcast is going to have a, like an inner squad scrimmage. So stick around if you want to see some more soccer. Otherwise, I will see you and talk to you next week. Take care. If, if you got something at the concession stand, please... Police your area, take it down to the appropriate uh, trash container. I appreciate it, and the maintenance crew appreciate it. Thank you again. Good luck, have fun, see you next time. Next game, 21st. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Yeah.